Yo, what's good, Clock Gang? I don't know who they've been watching, but they need to get in tune. It's your boy Zente, and it's the Rilla Sour. Roll that intro. Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We finally back. We back to recording, you feel me? I had to take a little break, a little mental break because of what I was going through. You know, if y'all know, y'all know. If you don't know, go watch the video that I made. I was having a really tough time, so I wanted to take a little break. And I told y'all that I would be back in December consistently. And the start of 2022, we're going to be uploading crazy this year. I'm trying to really grow this channel. Like, it's really been growing, and I appreciate everybody that's supporting. But I'm trying to take it to new levels. I want it to grow crazy. But I'm not going to do too much talking. If this your first time here, man, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Today's video is top 10 dunks in playoff history. If you got any suggestions, just comment down below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. But let's hop right into this. All right, lots of LeBron and MJ uh -huh. on this list, as promised, are top 10 dunks in NBA playoff history. Number 10, 2013, Pacers and Heat, Paul George. Driving by LeBron and all up in Chris Anderson's grill. George and the Pacers. I'm surprised that made seven top games, ten. The Heat won the series. They went to win the second straight title. I'm surprised that made top ten, but that's when Paul George was. That's when Paul George was on the rise. He was becoming one of them dudes. Now he been wilding, but he got to do it with Kawhi. But I'm surprised that made it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised that made it, but that was definitely. He, he killed him. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Paul George <laughs> starts us off. At number nine, we go to 1997, the Hawks and Bulls. MJ taking on the Kemba Mutombo. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go with Jordan Mutombo at the All Star game earlier that year. Take a listen to this. I haven't got you recently. Yeah, I agree with no, that. You haven't got me in the six years. One through that, just go ahead. He never dunked on you. He never put you on the highlight. No. He said, I would love for you to give my poster, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen. All right, well, back to the playoffs. MJ. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Duncan on Mutombo. And then gives him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't say that, bro. <laughs> you can't the say Bulls that. The would win the series and go on to win their fifth title. You can't say that to Michael Jordan. Don't ever tell him he's not going to do nothing. Because he's definitely going to do it. <laughs> Don't ever tell him he's not going to do nothing. Welcome, Jordan. Hey, go play with Mike. At least leave him alone. Number eight, Jazz and Warriors. Baron Davis on Andre Karolinko. Yeah. This was man. Or that, that was nasty. Just erupted. 20-point win. Jazz won the series, ending the, the Warriors' Cinderella uh. run. But Baron Davis. Yes, exactly. That's the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face. <laughs> At number seven, Bulls and Knicks in 93. John starts rising up. Duncan over Horace Grant. That was fire. Jordan. Look at this. You heard what she just said, though? That's book, bro. He did not jump. He did not dunk on Jordan. Stop saying that shit. Just because somebody is near the pitcher, <laughs> it doesn't mean that he got, bro. Unless he got body to bodied or whatever, you get what I'm saying? He jumped out the way. Bro. Michael Jordan is not the there, bro. Would win game two, but the Bulls would win the series. And Michael Jordan is the second player. But if y'all want to say it, then whatever. I guess Jordan got Number dunked six on. Whatever. 2005 Rockets and Mavs. Tracy McGrady gonna drive baseline. Oh, oh my seven, God. Six, Tracy <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> That's nasty. Team I gotta hit the line. game winner. Had two seconds left on the clock. Mavs won the series in seven. I gotta see what's what the next five is because i don't even know that i was in the playoffs but that was nasty games at number five 2008 celtics and Cavs. sound up baby of course he did violate though <laughs> he did violate but but we we don't we don't do that celtic slander over here if y'all know me <laughs> If y'all know me, man, I don't play when it comes to the Celtics, you feel me? That's my favorite team. Every always been my favorite team since I've been watching basketball. Never gonna switch up. So we don't we don't play like that. But good dunk, good dunk, Braun. Good dunk. I ain't gonna lie, good dunk. No for human life. 
LeBron James with no regard for human life, as we just heard right there. Uh, the dunking on Kevin Garnett, the Cavs won the game, but the Celtics would win the series in seven. That team actually was better than that, but I'm not hating, though. <laughs> I'm just speaking of facts. Number four from 1994, Bulls and Knicks, Scottie Pippen. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Oh. Ah. And, and then he disrespected him. him. Oh, my <laughs> God. He, that's mad disrespectful. I'm not even going to lie. That's like, bro, you can't put your nuts in somebody's face, bro. And then push him down and stand up. You can't do that, bro. That's that's wild. You lucky he didn't get up and ah, ah, two-piece your shit from Popeye's with a biscuit. You lucky he didn't do that. No drink. No bad. Ah. Why you gotta do him like that, Scotty? Yeah, that's the trash talk over the Spike Lee. It was sitting courtside. That's right. You sit down and shut up. But yo, yeah. is there any dunks that's gonna make me get up out of my seat? Cause I ain't seen none yet. I ain't gonna lie, and I seen a lot of dunks in my life. Got the last lap though, winning the series in seven games. At number three, Lakers and Seawolves, 2003. Kobe Bryant driving oh. baseline and throwing down a reverse windmill through traffic. I mean, look see, at like KG guy. was the a... KG was the one that was first there, so. Technically, he got dunked on, but then he's not the one that stepped up. So I really don't even want to say KG got dunked on. Game high, 32 and a 30-point win. Whew. The Lakers will go on to win the series in six games. Number two from 1992, Warriors and Sonics. The Lister Blister. Yeah. Sean Kemp. <sighs> oh, and then, the and then. And then taunts him. <laughs> oh. Yo, you can't do that, Cradles bro. Cradles it, tomahawks it. Points at him. Sonics won the game by three. They took the series in four. The Lister. Lister. Yeah. Yes. The All list. Right, All right. What's number one? one? No surprise here. 91. Bulls and Knicks. Yep. Yep. Take a look at that, beauty. It's not Michael even a dunk. It's not even a dunk. Okay, so this list is not that good. Because there got to be dunks that make you get out your seat. I'm sorry. I know it's a reaction video and y'all want me to be hyped, but them dunks was not that fire. I guess that's why the video didn't get that much views. But... This dunk right here, it's not only it's not really about the actual dunk. It's about what he did to before them. So I'ma rewind it. Look, look at the move. He's getting yep. double. Take a look Yeet. at that, beauty. Bow. Michael Jordan <laughs> shaking two defenders. Get off me. He's Dunkin getting double. Ewan, That's Jordan what it's Combs about. The most memorable dunk of his career. The Bulls That's what makes that dunk so nasty. Their first title. That's what makes that dunk so nasty. It's not the fact that, you know what I'm saying? It's not the fact that the dunk was fire. It was the fact that he's getting doubled on the baseline, which if you know basketball, there's a third defender behind you because he cannot go this way. He can't go, he can't turn around and go that way. So there's a third defender. So it's two and then it's the baseline, which is the third defender and he G'd him. Wee! and got bottom and then cranked it on Patrick Ewing. So that's why that dunk is so hard. But I could see why this video didn't do that well because number one, Sports Center don't got no hypeness when they, when you talking about dunks, you gotta have energy when you, t when you giving a list, you know what I'm saying? You can't have no, you can't just be like number one. Yeah, Michael Jordan. So I can understand why that, and then the list is not that good. They gotta be better dunks than that. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Because I've seen a bunch of dunks. Maybe they're not in the playoffs. I don't know. But I feel like there's definitely better dunks than that. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this video. The dunks are good. But I can understand why the video didn't do that well. Because, I don't know. Just the way it was put together, it, it's not that good. But, yo, that was NBA Top 10 dunk Playoff Dunks Ever. Featuring LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. <laughs> You got any suggestions, just comment down below, man. We on the grind, man. December, I'm going to be uploading crazy. And all of next year, I'm going to be going crazy. I'm going to try to upload as much as possible. So just stick with me. Comment any videos y'all have down below, man. And let's keep growing. Clock gang, man. But with that, man, it's your boy Zente. It's been a realist hour. And until next time, GG's. On that lunchroom table sound like a beatbox Know a couple niggas that used to carry that heat rock But I ain't take that path cause that's not my lifestyle no. Used to carry some protection on me, that's a lifestyle My name is Mike Zen and I feel like the chosen one Me and you King James, nigga, you not the only one King. Trying to get to that top spot like LeBron James In your daughter crib, butt naked like I'm Ving Rhames Working hard every day to get that Bill Gates money I be hearing little shit like this
damn, now he moving funny.